Hello, Cancer. How are you? I have to say I'm doing quite nicely, thank you. And uh, it's already June. So let's see what the energy has in store for you for the next little while, Cancer. Okay, here we go. And I'm using Psychic Tarot of the Heart. It's that one. That one seems to call. What do you think? Well, let's find out. Balance. Well, Cancer, that's a very good one for you. Because um, I've known a few Cancer, as I said before. And they, and they were always very good people. They're always generally in balance. And uh, very down-to-earth, logical, solid people. So let's see what balance means for you for this next little while. I have been a little surprised at the energy that's been coming through, though I don't know why. It's always it's always different than I expect. Let's see what balance means for Cancer. Okay, the first card is a Seven of Wands, and uh, the Seven of Wands in mine is uh, somebody who handles life very well. So for you, Cancer, and that's what I would expect for you, things are going to come up and you're going to be able to handle them very well. And I think that's uh, really positive. One of my favorite cards, the Seven of Wands. And even controversy, will you'll be able to handle it well. And uh, also what will come up is the Ace of Pentacles, which is a, it's a card of um, prosperity, but it's a 3D prosperity or more than 3D, it's physical prosperity. So there's a lot of, wow, energy, let's get things moving. But that's summer energy, right? There's a lot of abundance coming your way. And it could be simply that people are giving you stuff out of their, out of their garden. They've got uh, fresh cherries that they've got way too much of, and they give it to you. And you know everybody has too many zucchinis in summer, but not, not in June. But cherries... Pie cherries sound divine right about now, actually. So, as I say, you're you're very you're very good at dealing with conflict. You're very good at accepting abundance. I do suspect the abundance is more in the line of people giving you things than money. And then there's the nine of wands. So, this is a bit of confrontation. That's also part of daily life, isn't it? So we can expect a bit of confrontation, which you will, of course, handle great, great. And hmm, look at that. So a little bit of confrontation will lead to you celebrating. I wonder why. That sounds really funny, doesn't it? So I have no I have no comments to make about that to be honest. It's pretty straightforward. You've got all the all the things you need to make a great month of it. You could add a bit of change in here and this is this is a time for change, but this is an inner change. This is not a no so much a physical change. It's a heart opening change, a change where your heart opens and you can accept people which would be why you're so you're celebrating because you love so much more and loving people or itself is really really what it's all about and then you, because you love people you will receive more abundance and you feel good because you do know how to handle yourself that's right so only hope that went really fast. I'm not sure how to how to uh, explain it anymore. It's good. It's uh, exciting. Let's see what uh, what this card has to say. <laughs> well, there you go. So this is a card of balance, and this is a card of finding balance. So what that tells me is that. You are you you have found a place of balance, but life is changing because you've chosen to open your heart more. And when you choose to open your heart more, 
events occur like confrontations to show you where you're at and obviously you're doing really well because you're getting a lot of really cool things and you get to celebrate so the new level up it, you're leveling up and so you're getting to find a new balance from the old balance that's a really good card things should look look really good for you cancer and I'm going to say at that point namaste namasco